Let's face it, the majority of today's youth are idiots. <laughs> and with such inventions as Facebook, MySpace, Twitter, and YouTube, their intelligence is steadily decreasing. So in an attempt to re-educate the inhabitants of this once beautiful land, a group of self-proclaimed idiots decided to do something productive with their computers and create a low-budget show to keep the people's minds in proper working order. This is Physics for Idiots! Hello, welcome to Science for Idiots. Today we'll be experimenting with the power of force. What is force? Force is what gives the giant its power. It is made up of all living things in the universe. It surrounds us and penetrates us. But Webster defines it as, as a physical power. A common example of force is the amount of pressure used to penetrate an object. For example, this nail. If you put all force onto one area, the object that is in contact with the surface will penetrate through it. Sorry about that. So if there are multiple objects sped throughout the surface area, then more pressure is needed to penetrate it. To test this theory, we have devised this bed of nails. We have here 966 nails spread out one inch apart from each other. Well, for the sake of using a metric system, they are 2.54 centimeters apart. Thanks a lot, Europe. Each one of these nails are 4 inches long, or 10.16 centimeters. Anyway, here we have an apple. It weighs 192 grams. When we simply toss it into the air towards the bed of nails, it goes through the nails because of the amount of pressure from gravity pulling it through small amount of nails that hit the small surface. However, if we place a larger object on the nails, the amount of pressure needed to penetrate through the surface will increase. Heads. I hate you. Alright, now that he's on the bed of nails, we can proceed to the next part of the experiment. There's more? Indeed. Oh, Mr. Lumberjack! I have hired a lumberjack for this next part. We will now lay a board on top of him. Once that is in place, we will then place a cinder block on top of the board. Then my friend here will smash it. Oh no, no no! Smash! Smash! Ready? Smash! Okay then. Mm Well, thank you, Mr. Lumberjack. Smash? No, no. Chop. 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 I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. I sleep all night and I work all day. Welcome back to Physics for Idiots. Today we'll be talking about force. One kind of force is contact force. Contact force is when two objects come into contact with each other and produce a shift in motion. Let's see, for example, that would be, say, somebody pushing a shopping cart. So, Jose, you ready to do this? No. <laughs> Too bad! Does it hurt? 
hurt when I do this? Oh, mother! Oh. It does, doesn't it? Another version of force is field force. Field force is when only gravity acts upon the object. Like this melon that's about to be dropped by our dear friend Jose. <laughs> this melon weighs exactly one pound, or in European ease, 0 0.4536 kilograms. Number three! This concludes Physics for Ideas. Da -na 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 -na. Things that bother you never bother me. I feel happy and fine. Ha -ha! Living in the sunlight, loving in the moonlight, having a wonderful time. Having got a lot, I don't need a lot. Coffee's only a dime. Living in the sunlight, loving in the moonlight.